So the cyber defense matrix, uh, I mapped all these different vendors to it, but it was pretty evident to me. Uh, you can see from just the visual, there's a gap here. And I was trying to figure out why that gap existed. One is based on what you see on the bottom, the degree of dependency. Maybe it's just because it, we just rely less on technology. And so really what fills the gap on the on the right side here, maybe are just a lot of services companies, which by the way, is oftentimes the case. Uh, but the the other, uh, but I was thinking, I wonder if there's any other reasons. And as I thought about it further, I, I came up upon this discovery, which I thought was somewhat remarkable. Um, it was, so I, I, to, to tee that up, I have to give you this quick history on security and IT. And this is the eras that Andrew just talked about. So back in the 90s, uh, Dell and Gateway made computers cheap. So uh, enterprises started buying tons of them. The first problem that we had was, what did I just buy and what business function did it support? Uh, and we came up with solutions to address it. Uh, basically things to help us uh, find those assets and understand what they do and to manage those assets. I'm gonna fast forward to the other parts. Uh, the next thing that we ran into in the 90s was people sending us I love you messages, walking into our networks, taking advantage of insecure uh, configurations, and we come up with solutions to address that by uh, things like firewalls and AV and so on and so forth. We fast forward 10 more years, we're now inundated with alerts um, and we need to basically have a way to process those alerts. And so we come up with things like ideas and SIM and then uh, fast forward uh, 10 more years and we're in the 2020s, um, it was pretty much like the age of incident response. We saw breaches everywhere and we needed firefighters and firefighting tools. What was really fascinating uh, as I looked at this at the macro level was each of these eras maps nicely to the new cybersecurity framework. So the the 80s, we had an identified problem. In the 90s, we had a protect problem. The 2000s, we had a detect problem. In the 2010s, we had a respond problem. So naturally, the 2020s is a recover problem. And what is the, um, the epitome of a recover problem but ransomware, right? Ransomware is really the poster child for the 2020s and what is fundamentally a recover-oriented challenge. What's also important to recognize is in each of these eras, um, the solutions of the past did not address the problems of the present. So in other words, if I had a detect problem in the, 20, uh, in the 2000s, the protect solutions didn't actually help me detect the DTAC solutions didn't help me respond. So I needed a new set of solutions uh, for each era. And in the 2020s, we have, a rec we have a recover problem as well manifested through things like ransomware, and we need a whole new approach. And so the whole new approach is what I call the DIE triad. And so the DIE triad stands for uh, distributed, immutable, and ephemeral. Um, and what I've seen um, in the actual things that help make a difference in helping us recover, they tend to be highly distributed, highly immutable, and highly ephemeral. And uh, the other really interesting benefit of moving towards or, or embracing DIE is that it helps offset the need for CIA. So the more ephemeral something is, the less I need to worry about confidentiality. The more immutable something is, the less I need to worry about integrity. And the more distributed something is, the less I need to worry about the availability of any one thing. So um, it, it's a radical departure from how we think about security 